All right, so now let's go ahead and add some functionality to our contact app. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at creating a form that will open up whenever we wanna add a new contact. Now, Bravo does have some Bravo tags that we can use here. Uh, that way we can input things like the name, phone number, um, and even an image for our profile image of that person's contact. So let's go ahead, let's jump into Figma and let's start that now. All right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is set up a form that when someone fills it out, that it adds all that information into our contacts. So again, if I bring my app right here, uh, we have the add in the top right. And when I tap on that, it brings a form up. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to create a form and Bravo has some Bravo tags that we can actually use to create this. Uh, so right under, if we look at the um, Bravo tags master list, there is a form section here and there are a bunch of tags that we can use for depending on the input field and what that input field is taking. So for our instance, we want to create a name, a description, a phone number, and an email. So if we look here, uh, name and description will probably be single line text. Um, phone number, we have telephone here. And then for email, we have email. And then we also want a section where we can add a photo. And that is right over here. We have um, image, right? Now you'll see under this where to label the tag. These input fields, these tags have to be added to a text layer and our image field has to be added to a rectangle layer. And what that means is in our design, so if I open up this container here and I look at the name section here, let me just zoom in a little bit. If we look at this name section here, you're not naming uh, any frame or anything. You're not wrapping this section in a frame and naming it. You're actually going to go to the text that you want to um, where you want the input to go and you're going to name that text field with the Bravo tag. All right, so you're not naming the rectangle, you're not naming the group, you're not naming the frame, you're going to directly name the text layer with that Bravo tag. So again, we have a name and description here that we are using the input text, which is this single line text right here. And then we have where we're gonna add the phone number. We have input tell for phone number. And again, we have email, which will be this section here. And that's gonna be input email. And then if you look at the tags for image, we have to add it to a rectangle layer. So for this here, uh, I went ahead and just made a rectangle with a add photo icon and text right over there. But again, we have to name the rectangle layer. So under here, under components, I have input image. So I added that Bravo tag to it. Now, the last thing we wanna make sure we have um, is the submit button. So if we go back to the forms here, we need something that's gonna submit the data and trigger this submission. So we do need to add this action submit to um, what we want to trigger that um, submitting. So I went ahead and made a green add contact button here. And you'll see under here, I have under the text a submit action right over there. So when someone clicks on add contact, that is going to submit all this information that we have here to our Airtable database. Now in the next section, I'm gonna go over how to set up the syncing of information from this form to our Airtable database, along with how we're gonna grab our current contact list and detailed information of our contacts for these two screens here.